Hey guys, take a mention of the video. If you guys in today's video, I want to show you how to fix your Reminders app not working correctly on your iPhone or iPad, or if it's not syncing correctly on your devices. We'll show you all the troubleshooting steps that you need to resolve that issue so that Reminder, again, is working for you. So let's get started. So the very first thing, whenever you're having issues, I recommend doing a quick airplane turning on and off and what that does is a quick network or refresh so if there's any connectivity issues especially if you're looking to sync your reminders across your device that should resolve that issue because the syncing requires your phone to be connected to the internet now after you have done that the next very next thing you can do is open up try to open up the app if you can or simply swipe up this way and you're going to want to close out the app completely just like that so that it's closed and then reopen it and that should fix any sort of minor related issue with the app itself. Now, the other thing you also want to take a note is that for reminders, if you're using location-based services reminder for certain things, you want to make sure that when this comes up where it says allow reminders on your location, you want to go into your settings and then have location services turned on here so that it can use that to give you notification for if you're doing any reminder for location based. Now, the next thing you want to do after you have done that is in your settings here. So we'll go back here, go back into your settings here. And under the notification setting here, you want to locate the reminders app one. So you'll see here, there's a bunch of apps here. Now we're going to look for reminders. You'll see it's an option here. And you want to ensure that the allow reminder is turned on for your notification or else you won't get any notification for any reminders that you set. You also want to ensure that time sensitive notification is turned on. And then I recommend just having all of these three alerts on as well. And then if you like, you can also change out the sounds if you're using sounds and all of these default settings, as you'll see here, that's available for you. Also, go ahead and turn it off and then turn it back on. And that should help as well if you're having problems with notifications of the reminder app. Now, after you have done that, the next thing you want to do is a quick force restart of your iPhone or iPad. And it's really simple to do. You're going to do volume up, volume down one after another, and then hold the side button just like that. So again, it's volume up and press and release, and then volume down, press and release. And then I hold the side button on the right-hand side until the screen goes completely black. I'm still holding the side button and I'm gonna let it go once I see the Apple logo. And what I have done here is simply shut down the phone completely and then having the phone reload the code. So if there's any issues impacting the phone from a software perspective, it will resolve that issue. Now, this method will not delete any of your personal data photos, videos, apps, anything like that. It's really simple and safe to do. And one of the very first troubleshooting step Apple recommends when you're having software related issue. Now, the next setting you wanna go ahead and check out in your settings here is your iCloud. So you'll see your profile here. And then under that, you wanna see under iCloud here, you're gonna show all, and then you wanna ensure that reminder is turned on. And this is important, especially if you're doing syncing with your devices. Go ahead and turn it off for a moment like that, it'll delete it and then turn it back on as well. Also another quick way to refresh that sync setting if you're having issues syncing with your other devices. Now, the next thing you wanna check is sometimes Apple releases an update for its, some of its app and we wanna make sure our reminder app is also up to date. In order to see if there's an update available, we'll go into our app store here and then search here and then we're gonna search for a reminder. So we search for a reminder here And once I search for reminders here, I'm gonna click on the ones here and make sure that it's from Apple. And if there's an update button where it says open here, you wanna click on that update. What I mean by that is if I go here to an app like this one, which requires the update, this button will show up. But if it says open, that means the app is up to date. You don't have to do anything, but another way to make sure your app is up to date. Now, after you have done that, the other thing I suggest sometimes you can do to help issue is that you can simply delete the app itself completely by clicking on remove app and then delete app and then go ahead and delete it. And along with that, if you have the reminder widget also, I would go recommend pressing holding and then removing the reminders widget as well. And then we're gonna go back to the app store again. Once we go back to the app store, we're gonna search for the reminder app one more time and then re-download it or reinstall it by clicking on that cloud icon with the download. It should take about 
five to 10 seconds and we should have reminders back in our phone and you can find that by going to the very last page here under recently added a press and hold and add it to my home screen and then move it back to the back to the original location so i will edit here and put it back here and i have re-downloaded or reinstalled the reminders app now after you have done that the next thing you want to do if it's still not working for you still having issues you want to go into your settings of your phone and this time under the settings here, you're gonna to go to general and then go down here, it says transfer reset iPhone. We're gonna click on the reset option and we're gonna do a reset all settings. But before you do that, understand what this is gonna do. This method will not delete any of your personal data like photos, videos, apps, anything like that. What it will reset is settings like network settings. So if you have saved Wi-Fi password, that'll get reset. Any Bluetooth connection will get reset so you have to connect your Bluetooth devices. Keyboard a dictionary layout will get reset. Home screen layout, so if you have a custom layout, that will get reset. And then location and privacy settings will get reset. Now, it's important to do that if you're really having major issues with the reminder app just completely not working. So that generally, this reset will take about a minute or two, but again, really safe and easy to do. The next thing and the very last thing you can do on your iPhone is making sure your iPhone is up to date with the latest iOS version. Go into your settings, general, software update, and if there's an update available, it's gonna say download and install. You're gonna to wanna to download and install. Give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes for the download installation of the software to happen, and hopefully by then it should fix it. Usually a previous update, if it broke your phone or causing issues, this generally resolves it and another Apple recommended solution when it comes to any software related issue. So I hope this video was helpful. If so, please make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.